Hello all. Happy fall. Welcome to our some life. Hope you're all doing good and fall is here. Summer went by and nice crisp breeze of you know fresh air is going through. I love fall. Fall weather is so nice after the humid muggy summer days. Um anyways um if you're new to this channel please uh, do subscribe i do make lot of gardening videos and don't get into a mode of we since the summer is done the vegetables or the garden the garden vegetables are also done it is not true and there is a lot of uh, planning which goes after fall through the winter until spring So keep an eye on the videos you'll be getting a lot of information during the uh winter time so stepping back to the fall weather um fall is here it's fantastic to grow a lot of crops a lot of greens and i'm going to show you today how to actually start the seeds from the house it's nothing more satisfying than starting your own seeds in the house sometimes with the seeds uh, which are from the kitchen and you know grow your shark crop this is the current uh, state where the um fall crop is going on i did plant a uh, lot of peas and squash squash i feel like you know uh, it's better to grow in fall rather than in the spring because fall there are less chances of bugs and uh, less chances of powder mill you when the plants grow from spring to summer which are considered to be cold crop also there are high chances of uh, getting powder mildew because of the summer humidity so um i'm trying to soak all the seeds so this is how uh, the process goes in i take all the cups separated and name it also this is a peas um, this one is a peas draft variety and i'll write it down like you know the names of it um one suggestion is <clears throat> don't use a paper shark cups which wasn't a good idea earlier for the spring i used the regular uh, you know uh, kitchen plastic bowls in a sense uh, the ones uh, where we have the yogurt boxes or uh, the mushroom boxes those were good um try to use those ones this is the magic liquid which i use um this is called lab which is lactic acid bacteria uh check out the videos i'll be making a video on how to make lab it's pretty simple and it is very very effective guys like you know you should definitely try this one um as i said earlier i do a lot of research on farming um agriculture sustainable living and you know to go as much organic as possible um so this is one of the method so what you do is you get you prep the seeds soak all the seeds in the lab water for 2 days and the next main important step is prepping the soil we had uh, i don't know if you guys remember this we had a tomato jungle going on here and one of my good friend came and uh, helped in cleaning up this little jungle because i was way too attached to take out the plants that always happens with me so she came and she helped um any time you grow any kind of crop like you know try to do a soil amendment it which is the key factor for growing the plants once you do a proper soil amendments you actually don't need to give any kind of fertilizers when the plants are growing because you you have put in all the nutrition into the soil already and you know the rain and the watering should take care of most of the things so here i'm trying to um loosen up the soil you know what you guys um if anybody wants to kind of tone up their muscles or like you know get into shape try this workout like you know that's the best one i, feel, I would say coming back to the soil amendments this is what i put into soil these are like my mandatory list biochar is super super important for my garden biochar does a miraculous uh, things for your uh, plants it uh, holds the soil moisture it actually house for the good bacteria to grow in 
and I put Epsom salt. Epsom salt has magnesium in it. Magnesium actually um, helps the plants to absorb phosphorus and this is the, um, the it is the rock dust rock dust has all kinds of trace minerals which we actually need it into the soil and i do put some little bit of neem powder just so that like you know if there is any kind of bugs or uh, anything any of the eggs sitting in the soil like you know, that will be taken care of so this is what i did like and you know, i put the cow manure uh, rock dust and uh, biochar and uh, neem powder um, I did not have bone meal right now like and I'm making a new batch um, do check out my homemade bone meal video it's quite popular and uh, you get to make bone meal from like almost zero cost so um, mix up all the things into the soil real good and uh, water it down a little bit so that the soil you know all, all the nutrition gets soaked into the soil nice and good oh yeah i have put uh, peat moss also a little bit of peat moss not too much though like you know since it is already there you know it should be good just a little bit of peat moss and you can get all kinds of uh, tools to uh, do the sowing process but you know i never saw my grandparents doing that so you know you just take your finger like you know stick it in two inches deep that should be good so uh, here we are i one best part of gardening is like you know I, I mean not the best part one main thing of gardening is i want my daughter to learn how to grow plants she, i want it to her to see like you know how the fruits or vegetables are produced from where it comes right um she's a four-year-old she knows uh, how seeds are generated how plants grow how to actually save the uh, crop like almost from start to end you know she actually knows it um so coming back so you put the seeds in it don't don't push it down with the soil just like you know uh, dab it dab the soil cover it up you know just very loosely so that the roots can um, develop properly and the seedlings can push through quite a little bit easily honestly they will come through uh, i have seen seedlings going through some concrete uh, gaps also so you know they will grow just that like you know if you want a fast crop or fast uh, plant fast crop basically you can do this so this is exactly after i think two days yeah this was not this one though the earlier uh, picture it was just after two days and this whole thing was within one week the beans were actually uh, in three or four days i believe it grows so fast because you did so uh, you know soak the seeds in the lab water or um, if for now like you know if you want just soak it in water for two days and two or three days and you can see the seeds uh, seedlings you know the seeds sprouting through and that's when like you know you get to uh, grow the crop fast since the fall will be pretty short right like you know it's better to soak i always soak the seeds and um, it'll grow fast look at the random lettuce which is growing in the lawn <laughs> it's crazy how uh, birds will take care of a couple of uh, sowing right <laughs> Alrighty. so this is a small crop which i'm growing like you know um, radishes radishes are too crowded i have to thin it out and um, there is some carrots and this is the spring crop spring uh, prep work do definitely check out around January. I'm gonna do a video on how to grow, how to start the seeds um, indoors. And for pretty low cost, you get to um, grow all these vegetables instead of buying it from the stores. Alrighty, this is the end of the video. And uh, if you like this video, do hit the like button and say hello in the comments. Or you know, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and do share with your friends and family this is gonna motivate them or inspire them or if it is gonna be informative informative instead of buying a lot of plants from the expensive stores you can actually do it for uh, almost nothing price at home start the plants at home you all have awesome life 
do enjoy your garden and uh, watch out for the videos which are coming in fall and winter we're gonna learn a lot we're gonna do amazing gardening again in 2021 or the next year <laughs> Alrighty, take care